Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new here, my name's Owen Alec, and on this channel I do everything drum related. That includes drum covers, tutorials, tips and advice, gear reviews, that kind of thing. But I also started doing reactions because they're just a lot of fun. So if you are new here, please do consider subscribing and hit that like button because it really helps with that YouTube algorithm. Now, I've never heard of Jesse and I've never heard of Black Crown Initiate. So this is completely new on me. This was a recommendation by one of my subscribers. So if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comment sections below. As always, I'll be writing notes and timestamps on my pad so that we can revisit afterwards and just check out any bits that kind of stood out to me. So without further ado, let's go for Black Crown this year, Jesse Beeler, Withering Waves. Those hand switches are really clean. That's pretty smug. Nice little fill. Keeping that backbeat solid. Nice quick flex on the kick drum there. Symbols sound quite nice. Nice ghost notes going on there. Really nice articulation. Nice steady heavy bit, I like that in songs.
those fast little uh, flicks on the kick drum there. So that was really cool because it wasn't over the top and just filled with absolutely everything that the guy could put in there. He was able to kind of just sit back and play the groove and keep that backbeat going, and, but then put in some little extra fills and a little extra kind of icing on the cake here and there, and it really stood out to me that. Overall, I think that was a really good song because there was a lot of peaks and troughs and ups and downs, that kind of thing, but then the, the drums reflected that really nicely because halfway through there was a cross stick section and just added a really nice texture and a nice flavour to the kind of come down section. I've seen people, they just kind of put a lot of splashes and things like that in, he just kept it nice and tight. So I did manage to write a few things down. I may have got the timestamps a little bit wrong just because I was kind of hyper focused on the actual performance. But let's go back to around about 1.40ish I think. There was a, a fill that he does with the ride. He did it quite a few times throughout the performance and it almost had a, a kind of paradiddle kind of feel to it. I mean, I'm not a technical drummer. I don't know exactly the, the sticking that he was using there. I'd have to look into that a bit further, but because it's got that kind of paradiddle feel, it was almost giving a sort of a syncopated offbeat slight kind of feel. And I thought that was really, really quite interesting. So let's just listen to that. Yeah, it's just something a little bit different. It's not something that you would normally expect a drummer to play, just you know, doing a fill with a cymbal. So I quite like that. Then, as I mentioned, we've got the cross stick section uh, around about uh, 3.30. What I like there as well is the fact that he's constantly opening the hi-hat on the, every other beat kind of thing to add a little extra groove to it and a little bit of extra momentum, but still keeping the feel and the slowdown of the actual song. What was also quite interesting was the offbeat sticking that he used for the cross stick. Sometimes people will just keep it nice and straight and everything like that, but adding a few little extra either offbeats or syncopation, that kind of stuff, adds a really nice texture, but again, keep keeping it interesting for the listener. Like for me as a drummer watching that, I think it's still interesting, but you're not kind of overdoing it and you're not saturating it with a bunch of extra notes and things like that. It's a really nice balance, I think. Let's move on to about 4.20. Throughout a lot of this section and towards the end, he does a lot of steady kick drum runs. And it's very easy as a drummer to start getting fatigued, even just doing a, sl a slower tempos like this. I know a lot, of the a lot of these guys can do super, super quick and they can do it for a long time. But sometimes, because you're using quite a lot of muscles at slower tempos, it can you can you can start to get fatigued quite quickly. Your double bass might start suffering with that a little bit because your timing might go off. One leg goes more fatigued than the other, and you struggle to kind of keep that timing absolutely bang on. But here it's super clean. I like the fact that he's just keeping it steady throughout. He's not sort of adding it like really extra beats in or anything like that. It's just keeping it going, and I think it really works well. And we got that really nice uh, kind of bell fill as well to add in, which then leads us into uh, the next point, which was open-handed playing, because I've seen this so many times with drummers now, and I do it myself. It's such a brilliant way of opening up the rest of the kit or just playing something a little bit differently. It adds something different, and uh, it's difficult to explain sometimes exactly what it is that it adds, but just a different feel, especially when you're playing it, when you're actually playing the groove and everything like that, you feel more open. Instead of it being closed like this, you're opening yourself up to the rest of the kit and it's a really nice feeling. See, straight there, it just opens up that easy access to the china, to the toms, everything like that. You're not having to sort of like jump over here. It's just straight away right in front of you. If I could have my time again and go back to when I was a teenager and start drumming again, I would most definitely just start doing open-handed playing. 
And then to finish it off, we go up to about 5.10 and there was this really nice offbeat on the china. It wasn't something I was expecting. I was expecting to keep that, that groove locked in, that backbeat locked in. But he did a really nice job here of just sort of leaving it for a second and then having a weird offbeat kind of feel. <laughs> It's simple but effective and I think it adds a really nice weird offbeat feel to the beat. Overall, he's definitely a solid drummer and someone I'm definitely looking forward to hearing more of. I believe he has just been announced as the Thy Art Is Murder drummer. I may be wrong on that so please do correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comments section. So it'd be interesting to see how he plays their cat type of stuff because I've heard maybe one or two songs of theirs years ago and uh, if I remember rightly it has got some incredible kick work to it. That's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it let us know in the comment sections below, you can also leave us a like. Thank you once again and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.